Jordan. Um, tough break. Uh, great match against Stefanos. Could have gone either way. Um, how do you reflect on the match? Yeah, I mean, it's, it's tough. I mean, the guy's a top 10 player. It was two tiebreakers in there. Won the, won, the, won the first set and, you know, lost the second and the first two sets I didn't get broken. And then, yeah, lose a little pace on serve when um, the conditions get a little bit slower and colder. Sun goes away and... Uh, yeah, he really picked up his game then, and um, you know, I lost, lost a little bit of pace on my shots, but phew, fought as hard as I could. And you know, I know I was down five four forty fifteen in the um, in the fourth set, but I still had four sets set points of my own. I think think four at least three, and uh, you know, got a little unlucky on one of them. So phew, fought till the very end. That's a big sense of pride, Jordan, in, in that as you said, you you're a breakdown in that fourth set. It's totally took all momentum in the match there in the, in the third. Yeah, I know you didn't get the chocolates, but it was a fair effort to come back from there. Yeah, I mean, after that second set, um, you know, I just felt like I was really back against the wall and just doing everything I can. And he was his level lifted a lot. Um, you know, he kept hitting through the court. Um, you know, his forehand's huge. He served well. Um, yeah, so I just hung around as long as I could and. Just gave myself that chance, and yeah, nearly, nearly sent it to a fifth. But you know, he's he's a quality player, and he, he didn't let it happen. You seem to be making a lot of errors in the first set, in which you control. What can you explain? What you were trying to do there? You sort of able to restrict him in a way. Yeah, I mean, there was a lot more heat in the court in the first set. I mean, it was much bouncier and faster, and you know, I was coming at him, and you know, I was, actually thought I returned quite well for the whole match. Um, but yeah. My serve was jumping at the start and, you know, I was getting into the court and forcing the issue and, you know, when someone's coming at you, it's it's easy to make errors, but it's easy to adjust also. So, yeah, credit to him. Can you take some confidence out of that moving forward from here? Yeah, for sure. I mean, I've lost to good players this, this summer and, you know, it's um, it's been a positive summer. Um, shame to not get through to the third round. The slam still eludes me of that, so that's disappointing. But yeah, tennis is much. Uh, my tennis is it's at a higher level than it was last year, I guess. You feel like Australian tennis. Um, you know, they, we say you could say that about a lot of you guys at the moment. I think nine in the top hundred. You know, Alexi tonight against Djokovic, really encouraging. Rinky, Alex, obviously. Do you feel like there's a real bubble of talent there coming through yeah I mean we've got a lot of guys and you know when I came in and did my cool down I saw Alexi was a set all and three set points in a row but um, didn't quite get there but I mean that's positive signs too I mean he's got the, the world number one up against you know on the ropes um, and we're all pressing forward um, you know Maxi got a win yesterday Rinky Coobs, they're all, you know, they're all playing quality tennis and we're all pushing each other, which is very positive. But, um, you know, maybe we shouldn't be looking there. We should be looking at our juniors to see who's who's coming up there and see if we can get more, maybe more younger guys playing tennis. And, yeah, I mean, it's easy to look at the top, but we've got to look at the bottom as well, like the juniors. Hopefully watching you at the moment, um, Jordan. Also, just one on Alex, who who has had some big victories, you know, recently. Do you feel like he can make a real charge for it this year? Yeah, I haven't seen his draw, but I mean, he's a top tenner now, um, and he's going deep in in a lot of Grand Slams, and I think he can keep keep going deeper and deeper if um, you know he keeps at it. And I know he will. He's he's a fighter, and he always shows up. So. Um, yeah, I hope he does. Thanks for your time, mate.